Yeah, so this is like the claw of a leopard. But uh -huh. because of this, the wart actually wears bigger than it's supposed to be. Oh, it's, oh, it, oh, oh, hold on a sec. Oh, they made the end link different than all the others. It's like a leopard claw. I, I, I yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah see? Oh, shit. So it's, it's also sticking out from the, the, the lock a little bit. You see? Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've That's never, okay. And not, no other end links do that. Only this one. Yeah. In other words, this yeah. is this is actually oh I thought it was a picture oh no this is an actual watch oh this is the erotic watch oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go okay this is okay now we go to the uh now I have uh, to auto zoom okay this is uh for 18 and up this is for 18 ages 18 and up okay see okay I think you have to turn it more vertically you have to turn it more vertically I will be okay there we go. okay there we go okay Oh, you can't see all. Press of that. the button. Okay. See. There we go. Yeah, move. Okay, let's start again. Let's start again, just so in case people don't understand what's going on. So, so is that a lap? Yeah, That's it's a Larissa lap. Uh, lap is style. Yeah, lap is style. Shop parts from the nineties, very classic. Uh, for the dial part, and the flipping the back part, you know, that's uh erotic watch there we yeah. go now let's see it in action so, so, so you press this button on the left you see this button on the left and then you press it see okay okay now this what is going on this guy's wearing jeans or something like what are they wearing like where do, what is the scene what is going on is i see curtains like what is this what is the background oh, the back one see. is the same, the, the stone that back. No, no, and, but, but the, uh, there's like furniture or something. I see there's like a drapes, there's a curtain. On yeah, the there's left. a drape on the left hand side, there's a blow job in the middle, then you have the chair on the right hand side with the and carpet. The the right. And you get the lapis. Yeah. Are they like on a terrace? Where are they exactly? What is the yeah, scene? I think that's that is just like uh, I think uh, uh what is it called? It's it's like a what well, it's like a castle. Type of thing, right? You're looking at the stone okay, okay. rail, right? I'm actually shocked that this is from Chopar, which I would think is like a very, you know, like, you know, pressy I mean, type of, you know, Chopar. Yeah, the the watchmaker in the '90s are much more interesting than watchmaker now. Oh, LUC, you, you know, they make actually beautiful stuff. The what yeah. is it? The LUC yeah. one, yeah. L L U C Chopar is they 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 using their in house movement with I think the double stem or something with the Geneva seal in back then, so high end stuff yeah. But again, you know Chopar yeah. never get much attention from you know the non collectors. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's it's <clears throat> but here's I'm I'm actually shocked that this that you would have an erotic doll in a Chopar because. I, I think I'm as very like staid, conservative, like I don't know. Yeah. Very uh Yeah. I mean they they have, you know, in all the watchmaker uh history, they will have, you know, different person in charge. So, you know, some of them maybe want to go be crazy. So they only have this type of uh watch. And so, you know, I mean they only produce you know very small quantity. Um so we're looking at another one. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. This is the. Wait. Okay. This is the tapestry dial from Anderson Genie, and also this, this is the early creation of Anderson Genie. Okay. You see, this is a hand here, um, uh, 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 dial. I don't and understand. Flip... It's. <laughs> oh, okay. Flip now I can. Over... Okay. I see it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is like. I mean, what? Hey. Eh? This is good details. Yeah, it's like the Greek. Uh, those uh, pottery. Like a pottery. Greek... Yes. Yes. But the Ancient one thing pottery. that I I I don't like this is that uh, 
you know, whole face looking at men, right? They look like no, but you see, it's a woman though. You can see this bra. It's a woman, but it, they it, do. It is, but listen, but, it's Greek. they are Greek. Yeah, you know, come on. Be off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me just one. Yeah. Because I mean, actually, it, you know, it would be more valuable if they were both men because that's more Greek. <laughs> wait, but let me. Yeah. Can we see the action? Can you set it up? I mean, wait. It's a auto. It's automated, right? It's an auto automaton. Yeah. Yeah. So you press this button, but I have to keep pressing it. Ah, uh, didn't want that. Let me just left it. Oh yeah. You have to keep pressing it to get the action. Basically, yeah, you gotta give it some Viagra. Okay, there we go. This is unbelievable. It's actually, and this is. It's like what it's going in uh is it per second? How does the the thing go? The... Uh you have to keep pressing it. Um up yeah. until the power oh, run out. Okay, okay, okay. See my hand but, holding but, the button. Yeah. Okay, no, okay, but if you but if it's fully wound, how long will it go for? Um uh, I never really measured. Uh, <laughs> I think this is about 70 something hours I reserve. Okay. So it has a pretty big barrel. Yeah. It's quite bulky. I think this is about 30, 40, 43 millimeters. Okay. And let's see, uh, how much I'm curious, how much were these watches? I mean, like these were uh, what because the I think the show part was like 30 grand plus, right? 30 grand plus, no, 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 no. I think uh shit, I forgot how much I paid. I think I paid uh 45, something like that. Okay, okay. And, and the Anderson and the Anderson. Anderson is the more expensive. I think that's roughly looking at about uh, sixty. Wow! Wow! This is another watch. We this haven't seen this in kind of Greece. So how it work is uh, the the watch? Well, if the watch every hour. Mm -hmm. The dial will rotate to the next scene. So this is called the Mona Lisa, right? So okay. at 12 o'clock, you're looking at Mona Lisa of the painting. And then you're starting to see she will take off her clothes. It's almost like the Mulan look, but erotic scene. <laughs> who, is, <laughs> who comes up with these ideas? I mean, 80, 90, 2000, that would be the crazy era of watchmaking. Now we're going through a full cycle. Now, wait, is this, this watch, this is an, or, this is automatic or manual wind? Yeah. This is a course. Oh, it's quartz. Yeah. Okay. But it's so a this, fun course. It's a fun course, right? You know, it's interesting. Like, and, and your philosophy is basically you're, you're, I mean, you have watches from, I think, from a couple hundred dollars, you know, three, three, four hundred dollar quartz watches to a couple hundred thousand. I mean, but just one of each brand. That's your limit. Yeah. One per brand. Yeah. Got to be interesting. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we put all the erotic watches together? We'll create like an orgy. Put them all on, on the table and wind. <laughs> you can't because uh, you can't? you're looking at this. Uh, this camera is uh, super zoom in, right? So even if I put the, you see, oh. I can only fit one watch. I cannot zoom out. Okay. Right? It doesn't have the zoom out. Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. Unbelievable. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, we got Uzi joining. Uzi, we got some actually interesting Rolex Day Day. We're gonna be we're gonna be showing there. Uh, wait. Oh, hold on a second, Bruce. Did you bring the? Uh, oh, there is the leopard. Oh, the leopard. I was about to ask. There yes. we go. Brand new Rolex. So now you're down to one Rolex. This is your only yeah, Rolex I now. Sold, right? 
I saw the uh, one second. Let me just unpackle it. You had a you had a Daytona before, right? Yeah, this is also Daytona. No, you had a Daytona before, though, right? I have you had a Daytona. Ice blue. Ice blue. Wait, wait. The yeah. the, the the blue dial white gold. No, the platinum, the platona. Oh, oh the, sorry, sorry, the platinum. Yeah, the platinum, the platinum with the baguette diamonds, right? It was it had the baguette diamonds, exactly. right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, and you sold it to get the leopard. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Okay, uh, wow. Let's let's see. Look, uh, can you pull back a little bit so we see the full no, watch? You know, old... I only have I only have this one. Uh, I mean, this camera Ooh. only have this. Uh, this is uh, that's maximum it. and zoom out. Okay, this is it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's it. that's all you can do. Okay, okay, hang on a second. Uh, shit. Okay, so you got. Oh, okay, so what's interesting is, okay, so the diamond, uh, what, the the on the on the bezel, those are what are those? Are those? It, what are they? Citrine? Sapphire. It is actually a sapphire. Yellow sapphire. It's an orange sapphire. Orange sapphire, and you know, by the way, there's a watch coming up at auction where the, they have the. The diamonds in this type of shape and it looks great. This this kind of layout. I mean, um, if if you swap the dial into, I think the um, the mother of pearl, you have what is called the pumpkin, and those things will sell well over two hundred fifty thousand. But if you have the leopard dial, it costs, I think, eighty something, eighty eighty five. So, you know. Uh, this shows how much I think uh, the leopard has been under value. Wait, how much? Wait, how much? How much is this watch now? Eighty-five. Yeah, this one is about eighty-five. I'm shocked. That seems very. I mean, I'm actually surprised. I thought these were. Which one? I thought this was. A, oh no, I'm thinking which is the one which was the dial is also gem set. That's a different, slightly different one, right? That's um, a different. I one. I got it uh, slightly lower than the market price because I did a swap. So I also okay. swapped for less for the ice blue, but I also bought this for less. So roughly it's cancelled off each other. I it also have a bit of cash. Okay, it seems it seems kind of like a low almost like for what's going. <clears throat> so the dial is what is that? How do they get that leopard texture on the dial? Is that like printed? What is that? How do they get that? Uh, if you I'm not sure you can see from the you can see a little bit the edging. So this is like uh, I think a uh, lacquer applied on the orange dial. So you can okay. see there's certain depths. There's certain depths for the pattern. Okay. You can see so the, the dial... roughly the five o'clock mark. You can see the dial is a bit shiny on the edge. <laughs> this is crazy. So it's, uh, it's applied on the paint is applied yeah. on the orange dial. Can you pull up towards where the, the the lug the what do you call it the what do you call it the ends the uh, what you know the yeah yeah, yeah. wow I love end that link. end link yeah that's yeah nice. so 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 you can I see this that. one you can see the the end link is a little bit sticking out so what it's called is like the leopard like the claw yeah yeah so this is like the claw of a leopard but uh -huh. because of this the watch actually wears bigger. Than it's supposed to be. Oh, because it's oh, it, oh, oh, hold on a sec. Oh, they made the end link different than all the others. It's like a leopard claw. I, I, I yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. So it's, it's also sticking out from the, the, the lock a little bit. You see? Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've That's never, okay. And not no other end links do that, only this one. Yeah. That's crazy. So we got I Uzi. Think, I, I see some. I we have a. We have a. Hold on, wait, wait, Bruce. Wait, hold on. We got a twenty dollars super chat here. We got a. <clears throat> we got a twenty dollars super chat from Uzi. Damn, that's a flex, Bruce. Best collection out of everyone here. Obviously. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank we got to. We got to get some better collections. I mean, come on. We got to have like even. You know, this is. Uh, no, this is very impressive. Uzi, thank you for the super chat, for supporting the channel. Okay, Bruce, go ahead. What you were saying, I interrupted you. We are talking about this. Uh, I did some research. So I think this one, they came out around early 2000. I think it came out 2006. I think this one was designed purposely for some big collector's wife, or I think somebody in charge in a lot of time. 
So he was trying to design something for his wife. Then the leper came out. So okay. this is designed to be a unisex watch, both when the women can wear. Yeah, yeah. How many do you think they made of this? Uh, I have no idea. But this is the off catalog watch, right? So they, you know, like any of the. I think this the leopard also was would be the first one or or second. You know, they started to explore the 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 gen set. Uh, 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 they So, yeah, maybe a couple hundred. I'm not sure. Um, but oh, so that's not in mass production. So it's historically important. It's off catalog, <clears throat> and this was kind of like the first piece that was. Wait, can we see the uh, the the buckle, the clasp? Is it gem set? No, the 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 the. Uh, the strap is also in the leopard pattern, but I absolutely I hate it. So I changed to another strap, but okay. uh, in that I'm just using the you know different. Oh, uh, oh yeah, not the original. Yeah. What, what, is, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Hold on a second. You didn't like you didn't like the strap is I, wait the strap is a fabric. What kind of strap is that? I think the, the the strap is also a leopard pattern. I think it's a cow. Over. Okay, okay, but it has yeah, yeah. uh it, the, the clasp is has got like gems on it, right? The, no, the no, no, no. The clasp is just the uh, old Rolex uh clasp. Basic, you know, the, the just basic yeah, yeah. piece of metal. Basic, just gold. Yeah, basic, basic, low, uh, basic yellow gold. Yes. Oh, that's that's not good. Yeah, it should have. Yeah, gems. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like the strap, and also the strap is too small, so I have to get a different strap. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let me ask you this. Okay, here's what I want to know. So what what made you decide? Because you know, going from the platinum, the ice blue platinum, to this is like completely. I mean, it's like you know, it's like completely different. It's like two two different things. Yeah. What made you, this? It's an extreme difference. What made you get this model? What was the thinking? Okay, so when I got the platinum. I I think I was very much, you know, wanted to stay, you know, the, the sales wells and you know, the low key type of thing. You know, I, I buy into that, right? So, you know, you're looking at a, a few of the independent I bought, you know, I, I, I have the low key pieces, right? Laurent Ferrier. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else? Maurice Grusman, you know, those are the low key, you know, low key, yeah, yeah, low, low key. key stuff. Yeah. And, how long ago uh, was that? How, how many years um, back was that? I don't know, four or five years ago, something like that. Okay, okay. So, so okay. yeah, so so uh, you know, the Rolex is also part of that low key um, category, right? But I mean, even for the low key, it's also uh, have some history behind it, or it's independent. You know, it's not in mass production. So you know, now I'm looking at the collection. I would really want to have a collection that you cannot just buy. Quickly from the market, have a same watch to me, right? And certainly the ice blue doesn't fit into that category, right? So you have too much ice blue floating around. I mean, if you want to buy ice blue, you can find ice blue. Right? So I'm I'm reviewing all my collection. I'm saying, holy, you know, hold on a second. This Rolex is the only watch anybody can buy from the market and have the same watch to me. I said, right, I'm just have to get rid of it. <laughs> get something that you cannot simply or easily buy from the market. And, okay. You know the leopard. <clears throat> leopard is you, you you can still buy from the market. There are also a few pieces you can buy from the market, but certainly in less uh, quantity available. Okay. So the idea is the idea is so you're not buying. <clears throat> in other words, the the thinking is your your it's evolved. Your your collection philosophy has evolved. You went from you know the kind of okay Rolex again. You only wanted one Rolex kind of. You know, best of breed. I guess you know you think of the Daytona as best of. Do, is that what you, is that fair to say that yeah, yeah, yeah. you believe the Daytona is the best of Rolex, right? The the best Rolex that can represent Rolex. Uh, okay, yeah, of best Rolex. of breed. That's like the, their 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 iconic watch. Uh, fair to say, right? 
and you want it to be kind of low key, but you know, still a heavy hitter. Platinum, ice blue, baguette diamonds fits the bill, right? And now you're said, okay, I just want the wildest. I want something that is unique, something Correct. that's rare, unique. I don't care about stealth, whatever. I want to have all my watches basically be just unique that you're not going to see and anywhere else. Rare and unique, yes. Rare. That, that's where you're going. In other words, everything. I don't want to use the word one of a kind because there might be several others out there for sure, maybe. Mm. But it's going to be like you're not going to see. Like in other words, there's not going to be. I, I'm pretty sure at this point, there's not one guy who's got on the planet who has five of the same watches that you have because they're all so unique. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fair. That's, that's kind of where you're going. Uh, and also leopard, I think it's grown, right? So it's so outrageous and I then kind of like it. Right. So I, I it's do have some, uh, yeah, yeah. I, it's I kind do of have like... some casting watch, you know, I do have a, a few casting watch and this one fit into yeah. that. Category. So, okay. Hold on a second. That could be well adding to my collection. Yeah, absolutely. So it's 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 kind of like uh, uh, that guy producer Michael, except you don't dress like that. You don't yeah, wear like wild. Had, no. Oh, he has this. I, I just. Yeah, he had a he had a leopard. Of course, of course. That was, that's of course, of course. But you know, that's he wants like wild, unusual stuff, pretty much. Mm. Uh, so the, basically, you're going kind of in the produce, not so much with, maybe not so much it has to be gems or whatever, but you want to have, like, stuff that's completely unique. You're not going to come across. That's it. And, and also the what I think uh, I, I like, you know, because uh, you're looking at uh, some of the uh, key licensing watch, you know. I also have this uh, uh, Iron Sun. Is a high painted tiger. Oh wow! Hold on a second. This is I've never seen this. You never showed this before. Yeah, it's a high painted. So it's it's pretty. It's well painted. It's it's really, really no no. Well it's painted. beautiful. No no no. No, this is this yeah. is beautiful. This is this is how does it, this is what enamel or something? Uh, I think it's just uh uh vanish, but uh, I'm not sure actually. Yeah. Uh, because in enamel, you... you cannot do the fine paint on enamel, so it's just micro painting. Okay, I don't know. <clears throat> Can you turn it uh, vertical so we see the yeah? Oh, it's very uh... thin. No, 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 vertical. Uh, ver like the just yeah, straight like straight like that. Yeah, oh, just okay. like that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was on the side, kind of. I just want to look. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> so. You know what? It's beautifully painted because you see the, the you see the eyes of the tiger. Uh, yeah. You could you could see like the light bouncing off the um, the uh, pupil. Mm. Uh, that's like the mark of a like a, a master. Like you, I, you, it looks I, wet. The eyes look lifelike. It looks alive. Yeah, yeah. It looks I've alive. I've seen a few. I've seen a few uh, uh, painted tiger. You know, Bowie had one. Uh, uh, Ublo had one. And uh, and the in the hairs, you see the yeah. hairs, you see individual hairs. Fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's not point. easy. So this this is by far the the best uh, painted tiger I can come across. Yeah, I would agree. I would no, I would agree on that. This is like it's it's beautifully done. This is uh, it's interesting. It's right on the nose. That's funny. Oh, let's see the back. What's in the mm. back? Oh, back is back is just a standard stock. Uh, I think of their workforce movement. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The, I don't know the Arnold brand. I, are they like? Is it? Uh, it's well, how much are those? I mean, they're not cheap. Oh, the Arnold, I think. It's, no, it's, no, no, it's, it's not, not expensive. Not expensive. So I think this one I paid uh, twenty. Uh, not even twenty grand. Like uh, okay. maybe fifteen grand, something like that. Interesting. Okay, so so Patek handcraft <coughs> Patek handcraft line usually is what hundred grand plus usually. Yeah, or, yeah. Know. I mean, if you if you just slap a Patek Philippe on on the dial, you know the price is going to be five x. No, let me let me see that. Let me see the tiger again. Let me see the tiger. 
Oh, I'll just I'm just grabbing another one. Hold on a second. I just put. Oh, so you put a whole. I see. You got you got multiple themes. You got animals. You got uh, you got yeah, your yeah, rod. Yeah. The cat thing. I mean, you don't want to do, you don't want to mix. The, uh, okay, then you got the other tiger. <clears throat> oh, we saw this. Oh shit! Now we see the close. Yeah, you, you showed that the first time, and this is the tiger, the chicken. The tiger, uh, the Samadon, which is uh, the historical, the the prehistorical tiger. And and I remember you see a different animal in its mouth as it goes, yeah. right? As, yeah, every every week. Yeah, once a week. And so, how many animals does it have? Sorry, sorry, every every day, every day. Every, this is a date function. This is a date function. Okay. So every day, the animal change. Different animals. Okay. Uh, yeah, and it's back. bronze, right? It's a bronze watch or something like that. Yeah, it's a bronze watch. But at the back is uh, the back is uh, the painting. Painted? Where? Oh, titanium. Oh, titanium? Yeah, the back is the back of it is all titanium, and the front. Okay. Is, otherwise, uh, it will turn to green, right? Because from the from the sweat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I've been very careful not to wear it in the summer. Wow. Okay. So you got multiple <clears throat> multiple themes here emerging. We got a question. I don't know if you want to answer this, Bruce. Uh, we got one of the punters asking, "How much is your collection worth?" Oh, definitely try to keep that. All of the. I mean, again, you know, the, 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 there will be people, but be more open to discuss. But I just be very cautious, right? Right, right. It's it's more than a thousand dollars, though. Probably. <laughs> Probably more than a thousand bucks, but you know. <clears throat> wow. All right. So this is uh, okay. Let's bring up the the Rolex. Uh, let's. Let, I want to go. I want to get to the Sotheby's. Uh, I want to get your opinions on sure. the Sotheby's. So, so the Rolex. Uh, and this is again. This is your only one. This is your only one watch per brand. And yeah. this is it. You're you're basically. I think you you know are you done with, with this? Is you're happy? You're satisfied for now. With Rolex, I, I'm pretty, much. pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the current collection, and uh, I have some hidden pieces coming. But uh, uh, you know, I I own some watch which gonna take maybe three to five years even to arrive. So how many know, years? I, I'm, how many yeah, years? Three four, three, four, five years. I think roughly. Oh, three. Oh, I said you. I thought you meant thirty-five. Three, four. Okay, no, no, no. three to five. Three to five years. Three to five years. Three to five. Okay, okay. Three to five. Okay, not thirty. Some of the independent. Uh, I think <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. one. I'm gonna get okay. uh, maybe one watch next year. Uh, okay. And then two years in. I'm uh, sorry, two watch in 2025. Maybe another one in 2026. Okay. Yeah. You're not a. You're not in a rush right now. You're. You're basically. You're good for now. You're. Everything is I, good. You have enough watches have, to enjoy. Yeah, I, have, I think I have pretty much everything I want. I maybe have one I'm still looking, uh, and, but after that one, maybe two. Right, there are two I'm looking. After that, I'll be I'll be okay. I'll be sorted. Okay, okay, uh, but 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 even then, you're probably still gonna maybe wanna like upgrade into like if you see something really Very hard, wild, yeah. unusual. If if if, if it's really 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 good i probably gonna be upgrade but currently if it is only 10 percent, 20 percent better than the camera i have i'll be protected right because okay so if you always gotta be... chase for the best yeah if you always chase for the best you're gonna be very very high because they're never gonna be enough there always be something better so uh, we also need to make deal with ourselves of uh compromise yeah so basically you're looking for something that's really you know, not not incrementally better. You want something which is going to be yeah. like, for example, I know you have the IWC perpetual, the minute repeater. <clears throat> so yeah. so again, you one per brand. So the only way you're going to sell that watch is if you come across some crazy IW. It's going to be some something really crazy that nobody else has. And also, I then you, price. yeah, the price, price, of course, of course, yeah. of course. All which right, is so going to be uh, extremely uh, difficult. Yeah. What do you got on the screen? Oh, that's the uh, Van Cleef Appel. 
the midnight oh, in Paris. So you see, this is the same diamond uh, uh, cut to the Rolex. Yeah. <laughs> so the the so basically you're looking at so it's done by three different uh, uh, minerals. So you have the average ring down. And uh, then this is actually a course. Uh, and then flipping the back of it is the meteor dust. Wow. Hold on a second. This one uh, picked up. What is it? It's called Midnight in Paris? Midnight in Paris. So the, in this is a two dial finish. Like the uh, the Frank Muller has, so the it's a hunter case back. At the back of it, you can see the round around the uh, the, the indice is uh, the meteorite. Back. Meteorite? Now? Let me see. Zoom in. Does yeah. it meteorite? Yeah. It's hard okay. to see. Can you zoom in a little bit? See. Just around the edge of the oh the, the outer the, ring the that outer yeah, yeah, yeah. the outer yeah. ring is meteorite yeah yeah you see and what is the center ring that says September where it's like a calendar what is so, that what so, is the so this is a this is a calendar so basically if you rotate through this little uh, handle here you will able to adjust of the calendar chart and also the front will correspond your calendar so basically uh this will rotate so this will rotate so meaning that you look at this uh at different dates or months it's the sky in paris it's sky yeah in, it, it it's represents the exactly the sky in paris yeah okay, okay. Exactly. What? what a genius idea i mean that's such a genius idea it's like very romantic you know paris everybody wants midnight in pa the sky in Paris at night at whatever time of the year that's 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 actually genius and the, yeah, so the, the, fact of that, the fact that they would put in a little strip of meteorite in the back which nobody would even you know care if they did or not but the fact that they did it is that's such a nice gesture that nobody would even expect or you know people would be fine without it but the fact that they mm. did it that's that's like next level. Uh, hold on a second. So, so okay. So when you change it, so basically, the sapphire crystal covers the thing. The the the, the course you can see is uh, opaque. Course. Course. Oh, it's course. Uh, the sky. Course. You are, yeah. It, the course will uh, uh, basically cover the sky that you are not supposed to see, and the the clear uh, sapphire will show the average rain sky chart of the actual uh, sky on over the Paris. That's amazing. No, you know, this, I, I get that this is this, I think this watch has got the most, okay, can I, can you do a show a close up of the lugs and the bezel? You got diamonds on the, on the, on the, on the lugs. Yeah. It, it, you know, it's this a is a jewel. You know, it's a jewel so, I mean, this is what they yeah. do. I mean, this is so well done. Shit. Yeah. The, the lugs are so elegant. So this is also, I think, they commissioned uh, Adenor to make the movement. Uh, you know, Adenor, uh, oh, Adenor. Adenor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't so know. I, I just, okay, so Agnor, I, I, I know nothing about movements, but Agnor, from what I understand, this is what I heard from, uh, what's, what's the guy, The who's the guy with the YouTube channel? Uh, Bill oh, Sanders. You know, Bill, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill yeah, Sanders, yeah, yeah. the old man. He he's did a whole thing with Agenor. He's talking about Agenor, the greatest thing. Agenor, Agenor, like the whole thing with Agenor, and like wow. They do so, all so the Agenor. R and D for high end watches. Um, Hang on a second. What do we got? Oh, we got Uzi. We got Uzi. Sure. Ask him about this one. See if what's up, Bruce? How you doing? Hey, how's going? How's going? What's up? Full oh, screen is a new watch. Is that a new watch? That's no, new. that's my. That's my diamond one. Is that really? Yeah, I've seen that yeah. before. Yeah, you've seen this one before. Okay, okay. Bruce, what do you think? 
I, I think this isn't this like the vintage one, right? So it's all gold, right? Champagne Dow, you know, uh, diamond markers and it's two thousand one, two thousand one. I mean, neo vintage, right? Yes, yeah, neo vintage. But yeah, it still looks small. Is this 33, 36? <laughs> 36. <laughs> 36. But it, it, it feels because I think the the way it looks more is because uh, the lock is diamond, but not on the bracelet. So make the yeah, hold uh, on. I think the contour of the watch is smaller. Oh, nice. Boom. I think it was fun. Yeah. Well, you got small yeah, wrists. Cool. I do. Well, I got small wrists. Wrist. I do. Shit, like my shit. I got my watch looks small on my wrist. I got a 36 millimeter. Mine looks bigger. Sm smaller, excuse me. Wow. Look how shiny. Wait, yeah. Mm. yeah, look at that. I for some reason I thought you had a big wrist. No, I need to start lifting though. Yeah, look at that. Okay. This is typical. This is what I said, right? So you are looking at all the diamond Rolex. The picture really doesn't justify until you put it under yeah. the light. Yeah, it's right time. Uh, what's okay? That's it. He's gone. No, no, no. <laughs> see, that's no, it. I just turned my camera. I just wanted to see what he thought okay. about. I like that. Uh, that's crazy. He has that leopard watch, man. That's uh, that's ballsy. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, once when you swap the bracelet, sorry, the the strap to something like uh, not obnoxious, like uh, leopard print. Uh, yeah, because the strap is leopard print. Yeah. You, once you know you that watch the, reporter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw they they have one that came out also, which was kind of like um, I remember they did one which was kind of rubber, but the di and they had like little diamonds like spread in around it. I think it was a different one. They did some funky stuff with straps. I don't, I don't like printed. I don't like a printed because uh, I think it's kind of again cheating. A printed color on a strap, it's not right. I think it should be like you know. Uh, I think the strap on that watch comes with a leopard print. Am I right? Is that what it came yeah. with on your Yeah, wrist? it comes with a leopard print. Yeah. That's wild. I think they should use real leopard. I mean, you should basically get a real leopard. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> like, you know. You're going to violate so much. I think, uh, you know, the, the whatever, the animal protection. You know, the, yeah. The not, not, if you, not if you get it in France. <laughs> not in France. They, they have everything. They, yeah, they don't care. No, but it's... Um, uh okay wait the van cleef we got to bring that back on the screen that's like an amazing watch uh, y'all hop off i'm watching this question i, I okay. like your watches dude thank you thank you thank you for joining all right see you. okay uh okay hang on a second let's let okay <clears throat> so i'll tell you something this is can you zoom out a little bit like on this uh just so we see the thing and and the dial you know ver, you know vertical Bruce, this is such a like I I I, I think the word I guess is a romantic. I mean, this is just a this is a men's watch though, right? This is a men's watch. Yeah, this is men's. Yeah, size. it's uh I think it's 40, 41 or something. It's 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 a oh, it's huge. Watch. That's yeah. a huge watch. Yeah. Okay, it's, 40, it's 40, not 40. a woman's watch. It's real. I don't think a woman can pull this off. Basically, that's too big. I think but, there's um, a lady version. This, this actually remind me oh, the there is a, from uh, okay. the picture of the Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, <clears throat> so, okay, so beautiful gem set. You got movement, great manufacturer. Fuck, what an amazing! So this is like just the uh, the concept of the watch. You know, midnight in Paris. Like, you know, everybody loves Paris. I mean, that's like I'm gonna be there next month. This month, uh, November probably. Oh, nice. uh, I, I usually like to go like fall. Uh, wow. Uh, the diamonds look incredible. This is white gold, or what is this? I can't tell from the lighting. Uh, this is actually a this is actually a rose gold. Rose gold. Rose gold. Uh, wow, beautiful. Let me see. Oof. Midnight in Paris. And what? I'm just cover cover the Midnight in Paris. That's like the Woody Allen yeah. movie, Midnight in Paris. I think. It, how about the How about the uh, Let's see the uh, the uh, buckle. Let's see the buckle. Yeah, there you go. Covering that's the way you gotta do it. Yeah. What a what a beautiful well, watch. Seriously, this is I think this is the most beautiful watch you have, like in terms of just like I, it's when I when I know, bought it, I wasn't thinking much, but uh 
now uh, for a while i really really like it i don't know why i mean it, it, it feels a little bit like a lady's watch but uh i just no, i've been worried poetry. It well. it's got yeah, poetry. poetry it's poetry this is midnight this, hour uh, the the name of this is actually called a poetic complication midnight oh, in Paris. oh really yeah that's it's from that... the poetic life I, that's crazy i didn't know that i did not know but no it's it's very poetic it's just a romantic poet whatever you want to call it uh everything about this thing is the design i'm looking at it. the sapphire that sapphire that cover is that like a little piece of rose gold that's at the edge of it it's like edged in a yeah. rose gold yeah i think it's also I mean, gonna take you know because you are working on uh ports so it's very brittle and you have the gem wrap around the gold around it or maybe just you, you have to really do the position cut right so no i mean these guys they thought i mean this is this is just an incredible watch like in terms of you know yeah but, this okay, is like, no, not much, do you know this watch before you know no not much people actually uh know this never heard of it this. never seen it never heard yeah. of it i would never if i saw it in a cad like i probably wouldn't have noticed it really it's like no, I, I, because you know you can't really take a photo of it because it doesn't really photograph. You got to yeah. see video basically. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you, can you, you have to have to plan it. Can you put it on your wrist? Let me see how it looks. I mean, that's a just an incredible watch. Let's see. Let me see. I think it's so much, have. so much better than a Patek Celestial. Like people buy that that Celestial. Oh my God, two hundred grand. That's a. It's like a. Uh, you can't. You can't see. Yeah, it's, it's too. Uh... Uh, no, I get the idea. Sense. I get the idea. Yeah. No, no, but I get the idea. I, I can see the. It's real. not bad. Okay. It's not bad. I think it's forty. The size is forty. Yeah. How much was that the watch? Is... What, what... Oof, this one. I think I paid a little bit over a hundred. Oh wow! Okay, okay. Wow, um, yeah, it's real money. This retail retail much more. So I think retail. Is How much was the? I can imagine the retail probably was something crazy. Uh, I think retail is 180 something or 60. I, I, I can't remember. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I know this, this watch has everything. I mean, this is like, uh, the only thing I would change, I'm because I, it's kind of like a formal watch. I would put on like a darker, brick, like a, a black or like a midnight blue alligator or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I always put a brown with uh, rose gold. So I stick with a, uh, oh, rose. oh, oh, it's rose why though yeah no stop they I, I think this one uh they're they are cheaper version i think uh the undiamond one only selling for a second one is like a 40 50 something like that but blue it, the dial is blue though yeah 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 yeah. i don't care what, right? okay. so i don't care what the dial looks like uh you know if it's a okay, okay. Score, it's your watch hey, it's your watch you do what you can <laughs> i mean Just, okay fucking yeah. amazing watch i mean this is sort of this is like such an incredible beautiful watch uh i've never you never I've, I've never seen this like how, how often do you wear this watch i don't think you wear this too much um uh, i i wear it quite often in the summertime because oh, it's yeah. super shiny right the the average terrain is reflecting you know the diamond oh, okay, okay. it is i think it's almost as shiny as the leopard i think these two will be my you know sunny day watch you know if you're going on a sunny day this one was just okay. so much on your wrist how about if you put on a white crocodile al or al you know whatever alligator strap white because that would go with uh, the white of for the summer it's a summer think, watch yeah it's a summer watch yeah no this is this is amazing uh it's a, it's a, also a summer watch not not indoor watch outdoor watch hang on a second let me let me let's go let me see if we can skip through the Sotheby's because I'll tell you the watch that you got this this Van Cleef and nobody even talks about Van Cleef because you know nobody knows him as a watchmaker, yeah, right? Nobody cares. Yeah. yeah, but that watch is is probably it might be their best watch that they've ever made. Could be, it very well could be. I don't know. It's like, and that's better than anything in this auction. Frankly, honestly, like this is like whatever. Like we've seen all this shit before. Whatever, Burlwood, Day Date, okay. Uh, some interesting watches. Uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, Order, uh, Order Beta. <laughs> of course the 